Uh, I think the wind is messing up my audio, so sorry. I'm trying to block it with my body. Yeah, so we came to um, Little Black Creek Campground in Lumberton, Mississippi. Uh, the lake is supposed to be a lot better than the last place we camped over here. Um, well, oddly enough, it's colder right now than it was during Christmas. Uh, the wind's blowing roughly about 20, 25 miles an hour for the most part. There's white caps on the lake. Uh, yeah, day one <laughs> in the books. We just woke up, there's a, a storm moved in, a little freak uh, uh, late winter front, I guess you'd call it, moved through last night. It got down to 30 degrees, and uh, tonight it's actually supposed to get down to like 24, and then it's gonna pop back up into some spring temperatures afterwards. So I hope I don't regret dragging my kayak. 400 miles because uh, I wanted to fish some while I was here. I brought my gear. I'm prepared to uh, if the weather suffices. Oh, sorry if that audio my bad. I can feel it on my hand, so I'm trying to block it. Got the got the warm java. Yeah, it's freezing. So day one, <laughs> probably all the activity out here I'm gonna get today because it's just way too cold and I did not bring enough clothes for this. Good morning, <clears throat> day two on our um, <laughs> lakeside vacation, spring break, lakeside vacation. Um, the wind's not blowing as fast as it was, but as you can tell by what I have on my face, it's still pretty cold. I think it's in the, like, right at 32 degrees this morning. Got down in the 20s last night. Um, yeah beautiful this morning though the wind is not blowing <clears throat> it was like 25 30 miles an hour winds yesterday it's crazy uh, but this place is beautiful uh we're at uh if i haven't said it already um little black creek campground in lumberton mississippi now <clears throat> lumberton is not somewhere that i would go and, and and visit but this place is absolutely a local uh, a local hangout that's definitely some of the cleaner water uh, so any of you who watched any of my videos from the last <coughs> um, over the holidays when we uh, went camping that water was really dirty this is clean um, like I can it's hard for you to tell on camera but like I can see the bottom you know through the water that other place it was kind of murky um, it's the the it was like a state park. This is kind of like a state park. If you're familiar with state park scenarios, uh, it's huge. It's actually, uh, it's very much set up like a state park, um, just around the lake, but there's shower houses. They're not the greatest here. Uh, but on a, on a positive note, um, we connected our wine guard, uh, our, our router that's in our camper. We have, we have Wi-Fi in our camper. So we have data now. Uh, and it's actually stronger than our cell phone service here. So cell phone service was was spotty. Like you'd have to walk outside just to make a phone call. Turned on the wine guard and uh, I got Wi-Fi. So connect to Wi-Fi, use Wi-Fi calling. It's like being at home, connected to the house. So that's pretty epic. But this place is pretty nice. Little little Black Creek campground. It's slightly larger, or sorry, it's slightly more expensive than the other place, even though the other place was a little bit nicer facility. The water here is epic. Apparently, this is where locals come and um, swim and ski and whatnot. Water's kind of low right now. Uh, I don't know if you can see it from the camera, but there's, I can see stumps sticking up. So this is definitely not a boating area, but it'd be, it'd be great for, uh, for the kayaks. And I, I see uh, all that structure over there. Should be able to cross over my kayak. And, uh, find some hole I'm sure there's some fish in here somewhere but all in all enjoying ourselves uh, even though the weather's not water spring weather um, having a good time visiting with our daughters um, one of our daughters uh, babies are sick and uh, helped helped uh, take care of her yesterday get her doctored up and, and feeling better she's feeling better this morning so uh, I'm gonna see them again today also but yeah enjoying ourselves um not as active 
as far as like you know fun stuff fishing fun you know extra activities whatever extracurricular activities that we usually do but you know the older you get the slower things go and, and should be you know you just slow down and enjoy life but um all right guys just want to check in later check this out absolutely beautiful it has been a chilly day it's gorgeous on this lake we are we are actually um we had to move our campsite a little farther from the water than i wanted to be oh man went to church this morning had an awesome day got to eat lunch with Alana and her family chris and the girls so it's been a it's been beautiful Tomorrow I gotta make a trip to uh, Loosedale. Supposed to it's supposed to rain here, so not a lot gonna happen. Um, I think so. That's Monday, Tuesday. I actually think it's supposed to rain. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But it's it's starting to warm up. Like uh, midday today, I almost got on the water. I realized I didn't have all my stuff ready to just jump in. So um, got the kayak ready. Got the rods out. But I was packing things up and noticed this and um, decided I would share. All right. Happy Sunday. Later. So <clears throat> it's day four. Had a heck of a storm last night. Yesterday was uh, busy, busy. Didn't get time to check in. But let me just explain to you how the south weather is. So you see how cold it was day one, day two. Yeah, I tried to show you. Well, I'm wearing shorts. Uh, storm rolled through. Now it's basically springtime. The uh, it was a beautiful day yesterday. Um, would have been perfect to fish, but just got we were busy taking care of family stuff. Uh, today we got to go wash some clothes and um, go help our daughter do a few things and we got to drive back to town nearby uh, well nearby an hour 15 minutes away because something we needed yesterday they were they didn't have and wouldn't have it till today so yeah day four kicking off uh -oh. I'm not gonna share anything about personal stuff so uh, we'll, however, talk about the campground. This campground's pretty nice. We've had four days to kind of soak into it. And um, it's quiet. They seem very strict on uh, noise policy. There was some douchebag the first day riding around in his big lifted uh, side by side playing, playing Hank and drinking the whole time. But I don't know if somebody complained or what, but he disappeared. I haven't seen him since. Uh, but pretty quiet campground. It's got playgrounds. I'll try to capture some of that. So uh, just for memory's sake for myself too. But camper's working out really well. We'll say this. I forgot what it's like to sit through a storm in a camper. It feels kind of hairy. So, but let me show you what we got here. Uh, so here's our setup. Got the kayak over here all set up and ready. Um, we actually opted to not bring the grill that came with the camper. It's one of those Coleman fold ups and absolutely sucks. Um, yeah. Uh, the window blocked out. One sec. Yeah. That's what it looks like after it rains. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's. We're in a full hookup spot. <laughs> Brought my cargo carrier, put it in the back of the truck to keep gear dry because putting the rack on, which we had this rack, Harbor Freight rack, I was really. 
really, really worried about it, but uh, honestly, pretty epic. I'll, when I'm doing the main video, I'll insert a picture of everything loaded up and hooked up. But um, yeah, liking it so far. It's got a nice concrete pad for the table and all. Uh, I don't like, if there's anything, anybody watching this is gonna do a, a campground of their own this whole edge here right that's like a four inch drop off and honestly i'm sure it's meant to move the camper over to where those steps come out onto the dirt but it's just not as sturdy i just like it on a pad so we've got the camper as far over as you can because if you see there's a tree right there so we're as far over as possible so as you come off the steps if you see that it's basically the next step it's real easy to misstep there and break an ankle so yeah old man west talking giving some advice but yeah we brought we brought that our old weber our old faithful weber gas grill and man it's that's a game changer over that coleman sucky one that came with this camper but uh, enough for today i'm gonna try to knock out all our activities today and um, get on the water tomorrow, me at least. Mandy's not going to fish. She opted to leave her paddleboard that we bought her specifically for this trip uh, at the house. So she said it was too cool for her. So all right. it'll just be me, which is fine. All right, guys. Good morning. It is, I think, day five. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Today's Wednesday. Maybe it's day six. Yeah, I lost count. So, uh, looks like I'm standing in the woods. There's a trail that takes you to where um, I'm going to fish. I'm going to carry my kayak down. And I forgot my phone and something to drink while I'm in the water. I haven't had my coffee this morning, so a little, uh, little out of it I guess I'm used to having caffeine early and get so when you come out of the trail you can't even tell it's there I just come out of that trail right there and uh, our campers up that hill come out of the trail on another section nice little playground down there playhouse here um, this is a super quiet place I think the audio is okay I put my phone in a um, more water resistant case. My phone's already waterproof. I figure I'd just double up. One sec. So it's slightly overcast today. Uh, the sun's trying to break through. There's some blue skies coming. Uh, I got up super early. I'm gonna catch some bait and I haven't caught any bait yet. Uh, so I'm really just now getting on the kayak. I went around to all the docks using bread and my minna trap. And um, this is the first place where my kayak's sitting here that um, I actually saw minnows in the water. So threw some bread out, chum, threw my trap out. Decided to go back and get my phone, give it a few minutes. So, this place is pretty cool. If you don't bring your own kayak, they have some. Um, it looks like mostly paddle boards, but they do have some like sit on top type kayaks behind the building. See if I can zoom in a little bit better. Give you an idea. Yeah, that's horrible. Yeah, canoe, paddle boat, paddle boards. And um, like I said, I seen some regular. Oh yeah, there's some boats there too. Show you. And if you rent the boat, they give you a battery and a trolling motor to go with it. So there's options. And that's always a good thing, all right? So, this is us. Let me lay my water down. Let's go see if anything's happening around the trap. Oh, it rained so much. Oh, yeah. There's definitely some wind up activity here. The problem is, I'm so used to them eating bread that see that one of those traps 
I'm so used to throwing bread out and then just tearing it up. Although, all this bread seems to be gone. So maybe I just threw it on the wrong side, so. Let me chunk it over here and then I'm gonna get in the kayak and get going. Yeah. Don't run out in the road. Don't run out in the road. Slow down. Just left home. Oh, you took the dog out. Alana. You all a fan of girl. Hello. <laughs> I need a belly! I wasn't ready! Why? It's a girl. Yeah. 